All right, so we're looking at this first question. In, a gas, in the gas phase at 500 degrees Celsius, cyclopropane reacts to form propene in a first order reaction. The figure below shows that the concentration of cyclopropane plotted versus time. Use the graph to calculate an approximate value of A, the first thing we're going to do is the rate of reaction at 600 seconds after the start. So we are looking right there and we want to get the rate. So if we imagine this is a curve, the rate is the slope of that line, roughly. All right, so um, it does say just approximate. So what I'm going to do is just do the, uh, you know, we find a slope by doing the y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. Um, I'm going to use these two points to estimate it, and mainly because that makes the time really easy. So the, uh, the time difference, the bottom of that is just going to be 800 minus 400. And then the only thing that's relatively challenging, since I didn't give you the data, is to estimate where these are on with respect to uh, the y-axis. So I would say that's about halfway through. So this is between there. So I'm going to say this is at 0 0.025. Yeah. And that one's almost dead in between the two hash marks. So I'm going to put it right at 0 0.050. And it does say approximate, so, you know, I might end up with different values than you did. 0 0.025 minus 0 0.05. And then essentially divide by 400. And I do get that the rate is dropping by about 6.5. 3 times 10 to the negative fifth moles per liter second. And I'd be happy with that value. It's a good approximation. Now, I have had people in the past uh, use that as one of the X and Y platforms, and perfectly fine because we are approximating. We want to know approximately the um, slope at that point. And I've even had people um, estimate each one of these, throw it into an Excel spreadsheet, and then calculate a trend line right at that point. And that's actually probably a little bit more precise. Um, but the biggest reason I didn't do it in this case is because I don't have these actual values of these data points listed. So I didn't think there was much need to go into an extreme way of estimating that point. All right, uh, B is actually kind of easy. So this is you know, wrong color ink. That one's kind of easy, um, or, or B is kind of easy because it just wants to know what the half-life for the reaction is. And we can actually get that from the graph, mainly because it starts the original concentration of 0 0.01. So we want to know when it's at half that, 0 0.005. And that's approximately right at 400 seconds. And that gets us through this problem here.